guys, this is Matt Beck from freesaloneducation.com and I got a quick tip for you on cutting a fringe without creating weight in the corner. So this is how we're gonna section it off. Typically, let's say what we would normally do, if we wanted to cut a fringe, we would slice it, over direct it, and cut it over here. Then I would slice it, over direct it, and cut it over here, right? And as I work my way through the head, what's gonna happen is, as I keep over directing hair over there, I'm pushing an extra amount of weight right here in the corner. So we wanna work on the round of the head. So we've talked before about head shape and why it's important. So I wanna show you this little line here. I wanna take out just the hairline. And you can see already, this is on a curve. So the angle that I'm creating, if I take this hair and I, and I over direct it here, and then I take this hair from this edge corner and I over direct it here, these are two different angles because this is straight out of the head here and this is straight out of the head here. So I'm over directing this really far. And when I do that, I push extra weight into this corner. So the key to cutting the perfect fringe, the perfect side fringe, is to take the hair and Dre is growing this out a little bit, so I told her I wouldn't cut too much. But we're gonna take, and we're just gonna clean this up. You can see all this hair is dead. This is on camera, so I got proof. And we're gonna take, this is the edge directly parallel to the parting, and I'm gonna cut that. Then I'm gonna work my way around the round of the head and cut. Then when I go to grab this hair here, I'm not gonna over direct it all the way, I'm gonna over direct it straight out from where it lives. I'm using the loose teeth of the comb so I don't have a lot of tension in there. And I'm gonna cut that where it lives. You can see it's still a side fringe, but it's not as heavy, it's not pushing as much weight. Now I'll take another section down, following that round of the head again. And again, another tip, this hair here, this is 90 degrees here, and this is 90 degrees here. So if I'm up here already, and I over direct this down, it's gonna get even heavier. So I wanna make sure when I take my next section here, and I comb it, I just slightly elevate the hair, still working parallel off the round of the head there. So I'm gonna slightly drop down, and I'm paying attention to what's happening in the head shape. So then I work on this corner, I am going to over direct this slightly because we want to work on a side fringe, but I'm not going to over direct it all the way over. We're going to go one more section. Still working on that round of the head. I really want to get this temple area in there so it blends it nice. So again, grabbing the hair. I don't even have to bring all of it into this at this point. Over directing it straight out with a little bit higher elevation. Then working my way around the round of the head. Still slightly over directing, but working parallel to that round. And then off this corner, I bring it over and out. You can see my hand went from up here, because that's where this would be, to here, dropping it down. So my elevation is gonna be higher here because the head is flat up here. Then as I work on this corner, it's gonna be slightly different so that we don't build up too much weight. Now you can see how this falls nice and perfectly around her face and doesn't have a bulky buildup right on the corner edge. So this is my favorite way to cut a fringe and make sure that it's not real bulky and heavy right in the corner there. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Follow us on freesaloneducation.com where we have more free videos for you guys. We love hairdressers out there, so follow us Facebook, Free Salon Education, and also subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks, guys.